hi everyone in this video i will discuss harmonic distortion analyzer and what are the different types of harmonic distortion analyzer we are generally using so harmonic distortion analyzer means it is also another type of uh, analyzers in the previous concept you have seen what is the wave analyzer and what are the different types of wave analyzers one among a n number of multiple frequency components we are selecting a single frequency component for that single frequency component we are measuring the amplitude that that is the purpose of wave analyzer but for the same complex waveform a complex waveform what a complex waveform represents complex waveform is nothing but complex waveform is nothing but complex waveform it is having fundamental component as well as harmonics fundamental component as well as harmonics so harmonic distortion analyzer will analyze what is the total amount of harmonics present in the signal a complex waveform or any type of signal what is the total number of harmonics present in the signal and it will never touch the fundamental component it will not touch any of the fundamental component it simply eliminates the fundamental component and uh, remaining all other harmonics component all other harmonics are going to be analyzed what it is so i already told you in the previous lecture so the formula for this total distortion is d square is equal to d2 square plus d3 square plus and so on dn square let it let there be n number of frequency components for fundamental frequency component we don't have any distortion because that is the only main signal so d1 is not there from second component onwards we will treat them as harmonics okay so this is the total harmonic distortion remember the harmonic distortion analyzer analyze entire distortion of the complete waveform but not individual distortion of each signal in the each frequency component in the complex waveform so distortion analyzer measures the total harmonic power present in the test wave rather than the distortion caused by each component the simplest method is to suppress the fundamental frequency by means of high pass filter whose cutoff is a little above the fundamental frequency the cutoff frequency we are selecting just above the fundamental frequency when it is passing through the when the incoming signal is passing through a high pass filter with a cutoff frequency just above uh, what is that fundamental frequency component all other what is the frequency response of uh, high pass filter so high pass filter is having a frequency response like this all uh, all other high frequencies all high frequencies are going to be transmitted now this cutoff frequency we are choosing carefully such that it should be just greater than equal to the cutoff the frequency of the fundamental component that means f1 hope you understand so we are selecting the cutoff frequency in such a way that it should be just above the fundamental frequency component okay let the fundamental frequency component be here f1 now the remaining frequency components uh, like uh, distortions due to uh, d2 d3 d3 d4 and so on all these are the frequency uh, distortions due to the frequency components like f2 f3 f4 all these frequencies are above the frequency of fundamental component so that's why all these are present over here in this particular band f2 f3 f4 and all other frequency components are going to be presented after the cut off frequency fc that means when the incoming when the input signal is applied to this high pass filter what happens with the cut off frequency greater than just f1 then all the frequency components f2 f3 f4 will be present and the fundamental frequency component is going to be eliminated this is the method how the fundamental frequency is going to be suppressed and remaining frequency components are going to be preserved so this high pass filter allows the harmonics to pass and the total harmonic distortion can be measured so what are the other types of the harmonic distortion laser to analyze the particular uh, harmonic component present in the complex waveform they are employing a resonance bridge wien's bridge method and bridge t network these are the three methods to suppress the fundamental component and passes all other remaining harmonics present in the signal 
what is that method called it is the fundamental suppression these these three different methods follow fundamental suppression fundamental suppression so fundamental frequency component f1 is going to be eliminated and all other frequencies are going to be passing through this networks so employing a first method is employing a resonance bridge wiens bridge and bridge t network okay if you observe these three names all these three names are having a word common that is bridge resonance bridge wiens bridge and bridge t network so we are having a bridge type network where we are selecting the fundamental frequency component to suppress and all other remaining frequencies are going to be passing through the circuit let us see one by one how the fundamental frequency component is going to be suppressed in different ways so first one is employing a resonance bridge employing a resonance bridge see this is the block uh, this is the circuit diagram how to suppress the fundamental frequency component in the incoming signal see in the test wave i can give a complex waveform in this text wave i can give a complex waveform which consists of f1 f2 f3 and so on different fundamental different frequency components along with the fundamental frequency component f1 now such type of signal when it is applied with this bridge what are the different components we have over the four arms of the bridge see here r1 r1 is the resistor that is connected in the first arm and r Three is the resistor that is connected in this third arm, and R two is the resistor that is connected in this second arm. Whereas the fourth arm is having a tank circuit, a series LC network. Here it is a series LC network. What is the purpose of series LC network? But how to set this? See, whereas uh, the output is indicated in this meter. the total harmonic distortion is shown by this meter you know one condition when four different components like resistors or capacitors or uh, inductors or even pure resistors are connected in a bridge network the bridge is balanced the when the bridge is balanced the current flowing through the galvanometer is zero remember this point when bridge is balanced bridge is balanced the current flowing through galvanometer is zero the current flowing through the galvanometer is zero when bridge is in balanced condition so here we can have an idea by seeing the statement we can have an idea such that we are making the bridge to be balanced for the fundamental frequency component so in this bridge is balanced bridge is balanced for fundamental frequency component fundamental frequency component so how to set this fundamental frequency component by using the components l and c by seeing by using the components l and c here the l and c values will determine the amount of frequency okay so we are selecting the values of l and c in such a way that it will give a frequency f1 and because of this condition the reactances of four arms are equal like uh, this r2 reactance is equal to r1 reactance is equal to r2 that means the impedance present here is equal to impedance present here and similarly the impedance in this arm is equal to the impedance present in this arm so we are selecting the values of l and c in such a way that uh, the current flowing through this galvanometer should be zero that means the current enters here directly current goes like this and the current enters here directly goes like this and no current flowing this through this one okay this all should happen 
balancing condition should happen only for the fundamental frequency component and all other frequencies are eliminated. What about the remaining frequencies when other frequency comes bridge is imbalanced. Okay, we are setting the balancing condition only for the fundamental frequency component. Whenever the other component occurs, simply the bridge is imbalanced, not balanced. What happens in that condition? Simply the matter will deflect. Okay, matter will deflect. That gives the total harmonic distortion present due to the components F2, F3, F4 and so on other than fundamental frequency component. Okay, <laughs> so here the fundamental frequency is going to be suppressed by balancing the bridge. Similar kind of method we will employ in the remaining cases also. See, V in bridge method, the bridge is balanced for the fundamental frequency and the fundamental energy is dissipated in the bridge circuit elements. Only the harmonic components reach out to the terminals. The harmonic distortion output can be, can then be measured with a meter. For balancing condition, we are choosing the value C1, C2 is equal to C, C3 and R1, R2 R is equal to R, R3 is equal to 2, R4. Okay. So, we are selecting the values. It is uh, C only. Okay. So, we are selecting the values such that uh, C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C. Some a constant value we are selecting. Uh, see, these two values are equal and as well as R1, R2 are equal. Whereas we are selecting R3 is equal to 2 R4, double of the resistor connected here. Okay, whatever the resistor connected here, we are connecting the R3 plus, it is a double of the previous value R4. Okay, so if this condition is satisfied, the bridge is balanced. Bridge is balanced. Where is the bridge here? Is, are there four arms? So this is the first arm. This is second arm. This is third arm and this is fourth arm. It is having internal resistance, some resistance RCE collected to emitter resistor. Okay. So, yeah, these bridge components are going to be uh, balanced for this uh, condition. In that condition, there is no output. When bridge is in imbalanced condition, the entire harmonics are passing through this bridge network and get, gets at the output. This is the Wien bridge method here we are using it is a Wien bridge oscillator method to suppress the fundamental component and passes the <coughs> harmonic components. And third case is bridge T network. This is the way how we are suppressing the fundamental frequency component using this T network. See the circuit looks like T. The circuit looks like T. <laughs> it is the T shape network. Okay. So, what are the circuit components we have? It is having a inductor L and two capacitors. Two capacitors and one resistor. Here, the resistor value can be varied to get the required amount of frequency. Okay, here we are selecting the value of resistor and capacitors and inductor values to get the fundamental frequency component F1. Let us see how this fundamental uh, how this fundamental suppression is going to be used in any application. See, it is a test waveform. <laughs> we are giving any type of waveform as a test waveform. Let it be a complex waveform which is having a fundamental and as well as harmonics that is amplified and given to this network. Initially, first at the first position, switch is connected to A. When switch is connected to A. What happens here? This adjustable attenuator is bypassed. That means I will write here. When switch is connected to A, attenuator is attenuator is bypassed. Attenuator is bypassed. That means the entire signal will pass like this. Where it will appear at the input of bridge T network at the input of bridge T network. Now, what is the purpose of bridge T network? It suppresses the fundamental frequency component F1. <coughs> so, in the input waveform, if at all any fundamental frequency component is there, that is going to be suppressed by passing through this bridge T network. In the second case, we will give yes to the B. Yes to the B. Then what happens? When switch is connected to B, Bridge T network is bypassed. Bridge T network is 
bypassed bridged attenuator case bypassed so adjustable attenuator the signal passes through adjustable attenuator with a range of 0 to 16 gb and uh, the output of this attenuator is passed to the meter directly here the bridge attenuator case bypassed so the output is going to be measured all other harmonics are going to be presented at the output so in this way uh, just a bridge t network is going to be used how the fundamental frequency component is suppressed and how the harmonics are going to be analyzed okay so this is the harmonic distortion